Hey guys, how you doing? This is Art with Fixers Automotive. Uh, today in the shop, we're going to be working on my own personal 2004 Lexus GX470. Uh, the problem is, uh, past couple weeks I've been hearing a little hissing leak uh, from the from the truck after I shut it down. Um, and one morning I noticed that I came out and the truck was kind of sitting a little bit lopsided. Um, so I got up underneath the uh, back end of the car of the SUV and I figured out that uh, one of the airbag, the suspension air spring airbags uh, has a hole in it so a couple of days ago I went ahead and ordered a new a new airbag air spring some people call it differently um, this is pretty much what it is it's a protective cover and then the airbag is, is obviously in inside here uh, the little air fitting goes right in here it's a little push lock you push it in locks in it's good to go uh, there's a little spring there's there, there's a little spring clip that goes in here it's almost like a, a C clip goes in there that can be a real bear to get out and then on, on the bottom side um, this sits like in your typical spring perch obviously when this thing blows up this thing airs up it supports the weight of the vehicle and uh, if you have any kind of leaks it will bleed down and that's what causes the uh, the uh, uneven ride and stuff like that so it makes the, the air compressor in the back you know work a lot more and, and you don't want to damage that that thing's real real expensive so it's easier to change these out and uh, I figure you guys, I bring you guys along with me and we'll see what it takes to uh, replace this. And so let's go. All right guys, so I'm in the vehicle now and what, what we gotta do is we gotta basically turn off the rear ride height control. Uh, Cause when, we, when you jack it up, it will wanna inflate the bags. So what we gotta do is we gotta go come inside, we gotta turn the key on, turn off the ride control. And then that way when we start messing around back there, it doesn't wanna air itself up, especially when we lift the vehicle off the ground so basically what we got to do is uh, we got this little you know do right height sensor here put the key in the ignition and all we're going to do basically is just turn it off and that tells the vehicle so you can see right here it says right height and it says off so once once it's off it won't want to inflate itself once the the tires or the axle droops down so that's all we got to do is you got to tell the car to turn off the rear air suspension. All right, so we got the truck up in the air, and then obviously this is the airbag, right, right here. Um, you see, there's a little worn down spot that goes all the way around. While well, right here, you can see it. There's a little tiny hole. You can barely feel the air coming out of it. So this thing still has some air pressure in it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let it sit here and just let it leak out all the air pressure. And uh, we'll get up underneath, up here, way up here on top. That's where the clip and that's where the airline goes. So we'll go ahead and, and uh, undis, you know, disconnect those, those, uh, those, those two things, and we'll, we'll, we'll put it in. Okay, so I'll get you guys up here so you guys see what you guys, what I'm looking at here. So you can see there's my airline uh, with the little green little release tab, and then right next to it, hopefully you guys can see it, the uh, the little spring clip that, that has to come out that holds it in so we'll see if we can try to get it out here it's kind of a tight fit I can't really get both my arms up 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 there all right so we got the lines up on top disconnected we got the little spring clip pulled out and then basically this is just going to come straight out like that and then you just got to find a way to take it out we got it out and then we'll show you the new one and the old one so I think this is the one that I replaced a few years ago uh, compared to the new one and this one has the push lock and I remember when I got this one this one was a little bit different there was a little fitting that came with it so I had to find um, a fitting that was screw in that had the airlock push lock in it so luckily I was able to find one at one of the local hydraulic shop stores here in town and I uh, was able to to make the airbag so unfortunately the one that I replaced probably about five years ago that's the one that failed so we're gonna so we're we're changing it now so this little fitting that I had to buy uh, this one just it just comes off it just pulls off this actual uh, plastic line so this was a fitting that I had to uh, purchase that had the the threaded fitting on one side and then the push lock air fitting on the other side so once again, that's kind of how, how it went in. This thing screwed in, and then that way I can make this airbag work. For some reason, the airbag that I bought uh, wasn't the push lock fitting, the airlock fitting. 
uh, it was a different style so there you go so the new one here we're just gonna feed this one up just like we did the other one and then once once we get it up sitting up in there we'll put the little spring tab on and we'll go for all right so we got the new one in got the push lock on got the little spring tab in hopefully you guys can see that because I can't um, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let the air let the vehicle down and what's gonna do is it's gonna sit back on this perch right here and uh, we'll start the truck we'll let it air up we'll check it for leaks and that should be it okay so we got the vehicle back down on the ground uh, we got the spring the airbag back in the perch now as we come back right here this is the air tank for the rear suspension it's a little tiny air tank obviously you got a couple of valves and and here's your feed line your both lines to both your airbags um, your air springs um, you got the vent and then right behind this plastic piece right here right behind the rear fender uh, that's where the compressor sits so the main okay so before we start the vehicle again so here's my hand and so so it's pretty much bottomed out right now so we're gonna start it and this should air up and I should be able to get my my hand in here let's go start it make sure our when you do that make sure your let's turn back on the right height to normal so what we're gonna do and come down here just gonna push this button to actually just push it off again compressor kicked on let's go check it out so already you can see here it's going up I can just get my hand in there but it's definitely going up all right so hopefully you guys can hear this you can hear the compressor there's the air tank and then the airbags coming up Going up. So it's pretty much right height now. As you can see here, you got lots of room. And let's shut the truck off and make sure it doesn't drop or we don't hear any other other, other leaks. Okay. Let's get up underneath here again. All right, I don't hear anything. All right, guys, so that's it. So we changed out the airbag. Uh, we saw the differences between both the fittings. Um, some of the aftermarket ones are a little bit different from the other ones. Luckily, this one was just a direct plug and play. I didn't have to, you know, reuse that uh, little special air fitting like I did last time. Um, so we got the old one out. So we're gonna set this one to the uh, scrap heat. Um, this is where the aftermarket one so hopefully you guys can read that so if this video helped you out in any in in any way please click the uh, thumbs up click the uh, subscribe button and the little notification bell um hopefully i'll be able to roll out some more videos here uh, at least a couple times a week and we'll catch you on the next one thank you so much for watching bye bye